Hello, and welcome to another episode of Success Coaching for a Better World. My name is Coach Manny Nowak. You got our website up there. You probably got it below me as well. Great to be here. Guess what city I'm in? Of course, go Phillies, right? Ready for the playoffs. I know some of you are in competitor cities. Those people out there, I think in St. Louis, right? Anyhow, today I want to talk about how it's going so far in 2011. You know, every quarter we look at how we doing. The first quarter we always say at the end of the first quarter, how's your year starting? At the end of the second quarter, our logical question is always, well, we're halfway through. Where are you? Today, we're going to get even more intense because three quarters of the year has gone. You've got one quarter left. What are you going to do? So the first question we always have to ask ourselves is, how is 2011 going to end? In other words, let's take a real look at where we're at and what it is that we can make happen in the one quarter that's left. So I got four, five questions up here I want to work through you with and you need to work these for yourself either after or at the same time I'm doing it here. So number one is where are you at 930? In other words take a real look. Where are you at 930? If you said your sales were going to be X and they're not there, then say it. Admit it. Deal with it. And let's work with it. If your sales are above it, well, that's wonderful. But why? We're going to look at it. If you said you were going to do these four things by this time in 2011 and you're not there, let's put it on the table. The first thing you have to do is where are we? Because we can't do a thing until we determine where we are. So let me, I thought I had my pen here with me. One second. And I hate to leave the viewing area, but I really want to, want to emphasize this because I really want you to understand that if your goal was one million and right now you're at five hundred thousand that means you're five hundred thousand dollars below where you said you want it to be face that fact we can't deal with it until we really know it if you said you were going to open three new locations and you have zero okay Whatever it is. And it doesn't, this doesn't, of course, just apply to your business. It can apply to your personal life as well. So let's go back to our sheet here. I know I'm getting a little fired up here, right? Because that's the way I like to operate. We really need to look at where you are. And then the second point is, you need to face the fact that this is where you are. Stop hiding it. We have a great tendency, and I'm as guilty as the next person, we're not where we want it to be, so we don't look at it. We don't really recognize it. Let, I mean, be honest. We don't. The reason people hate to set goals is because goals are measurable, and when things are measurable, people are going to measure you, and they're going to keep you accountable, and that makes us all a little nervous. So face the facts. Let's throw it up there. Again, let me look at the chart. This is a fact. I am only halfway to my goal and it's three quarters of the year is gone. That's a fact. I was going to open three, two, three new offices. I haven't opened any. That's a fact. Another one could be my expenses are $100,000 over where they should have been at this point. That's a fact. Deal with the facts. And then we can move forward. Alright, number three. Now, now that you know where you're at, and this is why it's so critical that you understand where you're at. Because now that you know where you're at and you face those facts, now you can honestly look at the question, what can I do the rest of this year and what can't I do? What can I accomplish? 
accomplish with three months left and what can't I do? You really need to be honest too. Let's go back. Let's go back to our example. You could sit there and say, well, I'm going to make up this difference. And I've got people that tell me that all the time. Well, I know we're looking at our goals, mate, but I'm going to make it. You're not going to make it. Okay, the chances are if through three months of this year you did 500000 then there's a good chance even with a great fourth quarter you're going to do about 700000 right? Let's be honest. That's what you're going to do. Straight up, forward, that's it. So why don't we make some adjustments here and realize that we can't do a million this year. But we can do 700. We still need something to shoot for. We can't just arbitrarily go through the fourth quarter. Same thing, if I was going to open three no locations by now and my total was five for the year, I'm probably not going to get there, right? I'm not going to open five new locations in three months. It's just not going to happen. So what am I going to do? Maybe I just settle and say I need to open one new location. And that's what I can do. What I can't do is five. If my expenses were $100,000 over, that means they were over $30,000 a quarter over. Or was there some other reason there? Let's take a look at what is it you can do, but just as important, what is it you can't do? All right, number four. Now, the reason I want you to come up with those numbers is because I honestly want you to put a plan and measurements together for the fourth quarter. That's why I said I can do 200,000 in that fourth quarter. That's a goal. All right, that's the way I've adjusted it now. I'm going to open one new location. I've adjusted it. That's my goal. Now I have a measurement. And now I can say my fourth quarter will be successful if I do 200,000 and open one new location. Whatever the numbers. The numbers are your numbers. And the measurements are your measurements. And the goals are your goals. This is surely an example. But I need you to understand that. Let's look at it now. Let's make some adjustments. Let's make it a reality. Because if you don't do that, you will spend the entire fourth quarter just kind of flip-flopping around. And is that really what you want to do? Is that really where you want to go in the fourth quarter? Or do you want to accomplish something? Because this is going to be key to 2012. If you start running in the fourth quarter, you're going to hit 2012 at a high speed. If you don't start running, then you're going to have to start the first of the year. And could it be just another year? Now, just a reminder, some of you are maybe doing tremendously out there. I don't want to think you that I forgot you, but you need to adjust too. If you said you were going to, let's go back, because this is really important. And I know you say, well, who had a good year? Some people had a tremendous year this year. If you said I was going to do a million and you already hit the million through three quarters, what should you be doing? You should be saying, wow. I'm doing over 300000 a quarter. I think I need to readjust the goal to maybe 1.3. That's what you need to do. Even success requires adjustment. So now you have all that. What's next? The final step is you got to do it. All right, we get discouraged sometimes. We get discouraged when we come to the fourth quarter. We think things are done. We think, what am I going to do now? I might as well just ride it out. I worked for one company. We had a great philosophy. We actually ran on a fiscal year, and we started it October 1st. And, and for some reason, it's amazing. At least it was, and that, that was uh, professional services, you know, uh, programming and uh, contract services for the computer industry. But we had always started off great because when everybody was ending the year, we were just starting. And for some reason, it worked for us. So do you need to adjust it? Whether you adjust it from a mathematical or tax standpoint, 
or you adjust it just from a ma sales management standpoint, understand. Now get moving. Get moving. Do your adjustments. Do them this weekend. Do them now. And then let's get rolling on that fourth quarter. Because when we sit here the, the next time, in a, in a couple of months or probably sooner, we're going to start talking about what do we need to do to make 2012 the best year ever. You remember that? Go back and look at the, the uh, video on making 2011 your best year ever or 2010. And understand what we were saying because we're going to say it again. And if you're running, if you're adjusting, you know, this or adjusting to the higher number, you're already running. You're already moving in reality. Sometimes we say, how do I make a plan for the year? What are you doing? If you are selling consistently a million dollars a quarter, then chances are you need, if you want to go to 1.2 million a quarter, you need to do something. What are you going to do? What are the things you're going to do? If you're going to say, I'm going to do 1.2 million a quarter next year, then you need to make some adjustments in your next year plan. So, that's today's lesson. How is 2011 going? Face the facts. Do what you can do. Know what you can't do. Build the plan and get it done. Coach Manny Nowak, you know it's always my pleasure. We're here to create a better world. For everyone. Let's start by making the fourth quarter a great time. Whether in business, personal, doesn't matter. Wherever you set goals, you apply this process and watch what happens. Thank you.